organization. And therefore, as you can see, I'm doing my own slides too. Uh, from this chart, the column on the left shows that the school's unrestricted revenue is essentially equal to the column on the right, which shows operating expenses. The operating budget for the 23-24 school year is approximately $7.4 million. Seacrest is also an independent school, which means that we are an entirely financially self-sufficient entity. We do not receive ongoing funding from the government or any other organization as you would have with a public school or even a private parochial school. The dark blue section on the left bar represents tuition revenue, which you can see accounts for the vast majority of Seacrest's income. Tuition revenue is reported net of flexible tuition awards, scholarships, and staff remission, which is the discount we provide to full-time employees as a tool to help attract and retain faculty and staff committed to our community. All of these programs make it possible for a Seacrest education to be within reach for all families of all economic backgrounds. Approximately 25% of the students at Seacrest School receive some level of tuition assistance, and this year the school is providing over $1.7 million of aid to families in need. You can also see that fundraising is an important component of our, bu of our budget as the generosity of our community helps the school fund the operating expenses that are not covered by tuition. And finally, we have other income, which includes revenue from our facility rentals and our EDP and summer camp auxiliary program. The dark blue section on the right column represents salaries and benefits, which is by far the largest expense in our budget. This is not surprising as high quality teachers are critical for Seacrest School to deliver on its mission every day in the classroom. This chart shows Seacrest School's tuition for the 23-24 school year as compared to our peer independent schools in the area. Seacrest is the green bar towards the right and you can see our tuition is much lower than the other schools included with only Wilkinson at a lower rate. The average tuition of all schools, including Seacrest on this chart, is over $39,000, which is 46% higher than Seacrest school tuition. I think this graphic really illustrates that our school has been creative and frugal to deliver a robust program at a lower price point than our peers. Now we'll shift gears and look ahead to next year. In January, the Board of Trustees approved our budget for the 24-25 school year. This chart compares our operating expense budget for the next year with our current year budget. You can see that operating expenses are forecast to increase modestly by about $200,000 next year, with the largest increases in program expenses, things like field trips and curriculum, and building and facilities. For the 24-25 school year, Seacrest will be introducing a tiered tuition structure meaning that upper school students, that's the fifth through eighth graders, will have a higher tuition rate than students in junior kindergarten through fourth grade. This model is consistent with many of our peer schools and better reflects the actual cost the school incurs in order to deliver these extras that upper school students receive. This new model reflects a few things. Your upper, upper school child will now own their Chromebook. They can bring it home over the summer and when they graduate, it is theirs to keep. Fifth and sixth graders now experience a formal band program, which includes the use of an instrument of their choice. And all upper school students experience a rotation of pivotal and extensive overnight field trips to destinations such as Yosemite and Catalina Island. All of these exciting offerings are not core to our program, but once your child has experienced them, it's hard to imagine upper school without them. The board specifically took this into consideration and the tuition increase is not related to core programming, rather funding these extras, which total approximately $1,100 more per student per year as compared with the lower grades. This difference has been reflected in next year's tuition rates. Tuition for the 24-25 school year for junior kindergarten through fourth grade has been set at $27,830, which represents a 3.75% increase from prior year. This is the lowest year-over-year -year tuition increase in 10 years. As mentioned, the tuition for fifth through eighth grade is $1,100 in the lower grades and has been set at $28,940 for next school year. In determining tuition rates, the Board of Trustees, led by its Finance Committee, balances affordability for families with the desire to uphold the important program initiatives for student learning that our families have come to expect. 
The board has also approved a total of $2 million for flexible tuition, scholarships, and staff remission for next school year. And with that, um, it's time to re-enroll for next school year. Tomorrow morning, you will receive an email from Seacrest School, which will include a link to the state of the school presentation and some important instructions about re-enrollment. We ask that contracts are returned by next Friday, February 16th. And we are eternally grateful to those families who enroll by the deadline so that we can begin planning our staffing needs for next year and understand which grades have availability for our current applicants or where wait pools may be needed. We are again offering a $200 discount to families that return contracts on time. Please don't hesitate to reach out to the school if you have any questions or concerns. I'm very happy to share that Seacrest is embarking on some exciting system upgrades for next school year. The first phase of this transition begins with re-enrollment. Your 24-25 contracts and billing will now take place in a new parent portal called Blackbot. We will continue to use school admin for all 23-24 school year billing, but you will be paying your deposit and your first 24-25 tuition payment in the new Blackbot parent portal. We understand that having two systems may be inconvenient for the next few months, but we see a bright future ahead with these upgrades. The email we send tomorrow will provide more detailed information and of course reach out with any questions. <laughs>